Hello everyone, True Zero Emissions here. We're riding on these old roads that are no longer used. I don't know what this area is called. Wow, the wind is blowing really hard randomly. So like it'll feel like there's no wind and suddenly a strong wind. We are a group of eight today. And this is, was referred to as a low speed ride. They called it 25 to 30 miles per hour. And we're at 21. And it actually felt like I was going faster than that. So, probably because like the road is very rocky and uneven and unmaintained. But you see all these uh, railings here on this old road? To me, it's very interesting that these old roads had good railings and some of the new roads don't. See this railing here? And railings are really important to prevent vehicles from going off the road. So one of the gentlemen in the group was sharing with me video footage of the, the fire truck. I don't know what you call it. It's like, I'll just call it a first responder truck. It was a red truck, like a fire truck, but a small, kind of like the ones that carry supplies. It didn't look like one that carried water. And it had crossed the double yellow line in, in a blind corner. And someone was asking, like, kind of like, what's the policy or the, the protocol? Like who's the who's in the right and wrong on that on that situation? And I said I didn't think the trucks were supposed to be crossing on the wrong side of the road on a blind corner, even though I don't know what the what the written policy is. But um, he had his I think he, yeah he had a siren on, but. The siren I don't think automatically means drive on the wrong side of the road at a high rate of speed through a blind corner. And I think that's in uh, what's called Angeles Crest Highway for fighting that fire that is still going right now. But the gentleman ahead of me in the white shirt said that if he hadn't moved over out of the way, it would have been a head-on collision. What a strong wind. That was a 
sudden slowdown. Okay, what I saw right there was slowing down and turning at the same time on very slippery, slippery um, rock on top of this cement or asphalt or paved road. And what I try to do when I'm slowing down is have the wheel straight up and down. Because if I'm turning and I slow down, it's going to want to wash out, which is slide. Excuse me. But I've made that same mistake and I've fallen before. You can see that this is all reinforced right here. But somehow all that dropped. That's what I don't understand. I want to try that, but I don't know the best angle. I want to. I just don't know what angle to hit. I don't think I can get enough speed on it to go up that. I could try though. It seems like it's about getting enough speed, right? Getting enough speed at the bottom to carry me up the from two thirds to 100% of the way. You going for it? You gonna try to go up it too? I want to try it. But I'm going where he's at. Shit. <laughs> that didn't go far. <laughs> it's really slippery. What happened? I just bounced here. I just bounced. <sighs> it's hard to get speed up it at the bottom. There you go. All right. Good job. Good job. I'm glad you did that. I know he can do it, but I just don't want him to fuck up the wheel. That was really nice. You picked your line right there? Nathan picked it up. Okay. That was really good. I got the you all picked out your line, sir. <laughs> Nathan, did you pick out his line? <laughs> that was so smooth. I was just bouncing on the rocks on the bottom. He picked a, sl a smooth line though. Oh, what tire is that? Which tire is that? What do they call it? Oh, okay. I think I have one of those at home.
Could you show me what line you took? That, that dark brown one. That's the Got it. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I I totally forgot. I don't know where I last seen Ron. Oh, here it is. Oh, gosh. That scared the heck out of me. Ron, you could come here. Right up here. If you're gonna pull here, you go this side. Here. Right at the edge by yeah. the where the grass is at. <coughs> you can have the most grip for climbing. Otherwise you can go to the guardrail, gun it, and do a Roger up that same path. <laughs> or you can eat shit over there. Raw. Watch out. Oh, sideways is even worse. That's the going up. That's the slippery part of Good plan. We were like about to leave and we were like, where's Ron? Yeah. I looked over I there. just took the scene to make sure that you didn't sign a fucking lady right there. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's still recording, but it's like your cable got pulled. I keep pulling the cable with my arm. I don't trust that. No. When I hit the cable with my arm, it pulls the... It pulls the... Uh, it pulls on the camera and actually reframes it. Yeah, the wheels are heavy when you're trying to move them around. They're heavy. If they're down on the ground like that. Okay, let's see what we can do here.
Should I try sitting down? Let's see. I'm going slow. If I sit down, I'm not going fast. So I'm gonna have to stand up at some point to keep up with everybody. Okay, that's good. 10 miles an hour is just not fast enough. My sit down speed. for now at least, until I continue practicing and potentially increase my skill level. Okay, on this one I think I lifted my pedals up. Do not block the gate, it says. Nice. He went around it. Okay, I think my mic's still plugged in. Feels like the core is being pulled, though. It's not good. Strong winds here. Whoa. Very strong wind. guys on their motorcycles are appreciative of this, these one wheels. <laughs> For expressing interest, I should say. Local deliveries only. We are delivering true zero emissions. And explorative discovery.
There's a vehicle coming down, see it? Yeah, they're going fast. I don't know why they're going so fast. Maybe they're in a hurry. Maybe it's an emergency. So these gloves I'm wearing, they do breathe good. I can feel the air going through them. Enough to where it's comfortable. Everyone's sitting down. I don't know if I want to sit down at this speed. We're doing 22. 22.9 I don't need to do that yet. I don't have to go that speed sitting down It's amazing how like right now I feel okay But when I stop for a while like an hour I could feel really exhausted and I think that's just maybe it's the adrenaline wearing off if, if that's what it is I don't, I don't really know or maybe the body's switching into like recovery mode like, okay it's time to rest now thing about sitting down is that <clears throat> sitting down there's less wind pushing on you that's what I'm told by people that sit down when it's windy that the wind doesn't affect the per affect you as much see anyone else wearing the neck brace but I would say for 45 or 50 dollars on Amazon the, EV, the EVS neck brace it's on sale I think right now I think I don't know if it's like 40% off right now or what the, for what the sale is but I would say try it and anything that can contribute to reducing an injury the degree of an injury and also potentially elim eliminating an injury. It's highly highly worthy of consideration. Oh, there was a bicycle there with flowers. Wow. Wonder what happened. If someone died there, I wonder how they died. I wonder what happened. It looks like someone passed away there. There's a bicycle and flowers. I don't know if you saw that. It was off to the side of the road. So I wonder if a car hit them or if they fell. Or both. I don't know.
know if vehicles share this road. I don't recall if this road's closed or not. Or if vehicles right drive on this road. I don't I don't recall. nice and cool up here right now. I'm really surprised. I keep forgetting to put sunscreen on my face. Even though most of my face is covered, I still need sunscreen on it. But good thing I have my neck covered with the, uh, the full mask. diesel fuel tank up here.
Okay, I took my earplug out, but now I'm falling behind. Had to take my earplug out. Ah, be right there. That's good, I'll fine tune this later. Right now I need to not get lost. Oh, that feels so much better. Okay, good. Video's still going. I love that helicopter, it's beautiful. Even if it has millions of parts on it. Okay, time to pass. Okay, goggles going on because there's dust. Make sure my cave, my power cable to the camera is not pulling too tight. Soft sand right here. The gentleman that fell earlier and slid on his side, I hope he had uh, hip pads on and tailbone pad. It didn't look like he fell on his tailbone, it looked like he fell on his hip and his side. So hopefully he has protection on his hips, because hips hurt when you fall on them. When I was learning to ride on the V10F, the Inmotion V10F, I fell on my side. The way I fell was I put my foot down to, stuck, to catch myself in the boots I was wearing, which is the ones I'm wearing right now, which are, which are street bike boots. <laughs> I put my foot down and these boots are very slippery because they're made to slip if you fall. I think that's, I'm saying that myself, please double check that for yourself, but I think they're made to slip if you hit the side, right? So I fell on the side, I put my foot down sideways a little bit and I slid and fell on my hip and luckily I didn't break the hip bone because I fell right on it hard. After that I bought some uh, some shorts that actually have like hip pads, tailbone pad, and you can change the, the padding to make it thicker, the armor, you can change it. go up that hill? Or is that too steep? <laughs> right now I can't judge how steep that is. And I also don't know if I can come back down it. Wow, it's so windy up here. <laughs> yeah, it feels good, but it's pushing us around. Yeah. Tighten this glove up. Here we go. Yeah, the wind's blowing strong. One of the reasons I didn't wear the, the like these boots I'm wearing are kind of like medium tops, I think they're called. I'm not sure the proper word for it. In a shoe, they would call it a median top. <laughs> or a high top or something. But in boots, they're considered low because boots can go all the way up to the, to the knee. And the reason I didn't wear my small, medium knee pads today and my tall boots that cover the whole shin 
is because I think I don't know if those boots would have fit in my my pads on the unicycle and I didn't want to adjust them right now I didn't want to go through adjusting the, the pads they're adjusted good for these shoes so I'll try that though the good thing about those boots I have the um, what are they called Alpine star boots the other boots well these are Alpine stars as well but the, the boots that are that go up to my knees for street bikes as well what I like about those is I got them a little bit big which means I can put lots of cushioning in the bottom and some people put um, a lot of padding in the bottom like those Dr. Scholl's gel pads I'm having some pads made for my feet right now they should be done any day or within the next week and that may help as well or it should help it's supposed to be very cushiony but also give support on the arch so it distributes the it distributes the the pressure of standing evenly and in the proper areas in accordance with uh, you know doctor recommendations if I say it that way Everything okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> he said another day it's tempting to, to want to see what the wheels can do and I know they can do a lot
there's a car way up here. That's surprising. A Prius.
Widower's bench dedicated to the women who made us better men. Dedicated in loving memory. They were sisters. Are they husbands? I don't know. They were born one year apart. Oh yeah. They died one year apart. Wow. Yeah, yeah probably. You gotta get one of these cases for your 360. Uh, I was looking at that. You know what this is? Eyeglasses. Oh, I guess it could be, but it's actually for your glass. Uh, Tobacco pipe. Wow. Really. And it fits it perfect. I like that. And it's uh it's uh oh, you on put the some inside crate in it. Yeah. Okay. Which instant 360 is that? Which one? Uh, X3. Oh that's, that's what I have. I right when I got it to, uh like four came I got out. it at Christmas and then a few months later the X4 comes out. Right. That's how yeah. it goes with everything man. Unless you get it on like the day of release then it's like hey Couple months later. Out. How did you how did you mount your your horn right there? Oh, it's the Velcro right there. Yeah, it's just like I like that. Here. That's a good way to do and it. You have the button, so it's easy access. Yeah, and the buttons have all the Velcro too. Oh no, it's strapped around. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you have it on your. I went, yeah, I put yeah. Velcro around yeah, the fingers. All the way down there. You could probably put a piece of Velcro like here or something. Okay. And then just stick it on. Yeah. All right. And uh, I know, I'm going to cut this plastic piece off. Okay, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. This is, I don't have a, you know, it just sticks out. Yeah. I saw a screw in the, like the bottom right there. I didn't know if that minute held it together. Are you going to cut that screw off too? Oh, yeah, huh? You know, I have actually have one that the thing broke off of, so I'm going to try it on that. First. Okay, and see if it stays closed. I'll let you know. Yeah. Eventually. All right. I mean, it's not bothering me. It doesn't get in the way, but... Yeah. It's just kind of pointless. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I would prefer to not have to slide it on the glove each time. That would be good. I used to have it here, like this. Okay. <laughs> now it's off to the side. But then every time I put on my backpack, it gets in the yep. way. Yep. So yeah. Okay. Is that the Shinko 244 tire? Uh, 241. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they don't make a 244 this size. Okay. Otherwise, I would have got the, uh, the 16 inch. Yeah. Oh, you would have got the 244 if you if it was available. Yeah, because it's more rounded. No, it's a well, it's, this okay. It's more better for like dirt, like short dirt, and that one's kind of like a more 50/50. Okay. So I kind of do 50/50 more with this, but. Okay. And with this tire, it has a softer compound. Yeah. So it's gonna wear it down faster. Okay. I think the 16 inch in general wears down pretty fast. I got yeah, I got 1600 miles out of my stock tire before it's pretty much like the knobs are pretty much like down. Wow, so 1500? More rotations for yeah. your speed. Yeah. Whoa, that is low miles. You said 1500, right? 16. 1600? Wow. Yeah, everybody got smaller. Wheels. Yeah. Oh, they took off. Oh, well, let's go. What are we doing? Oh, I didn't even know they left. Okay, I'm gonna start a new video. See you in a couple seconds. Stop recording. <laughs>